Hey my loved ones, today's video is going to be my November favorites. I do not do these videos every single month because I tend to run to the same products every month. But this month, I have been trying out a lot of new things. So first we're going to start off with the accessories. And I have um, been wearing these almost every day on my off days. And I absolutely love this set and I purchased it from Zebra Fashion Accessories out here. It's like a store in a local swap meet by my house. And it's a set with a necklace, some earrings, and a bracelet. And this is the necklace. And it is a cross with rhinestones. And it is gold plated. It's not a real gold necklace, but this necklace is so pretty. It also came with earrings, but I cannot find my earrings right now. And the earrings are about this long and it's a cross with rhinestones. And also this bracelet, which is so cute. It is different than a cross bracelet, you know, the thin ones and it just has a cross and it's sideways. This one is very thick and heavy, as you can see. But very, very cute. And I think I paid like 20 two dollars for the whole set but this bracelet by itself should have been twenty dollars but it's just so cute okay so for face products I have been using this foundation right here and this is by Mary Kay and this is bronze 607 and I know I just did a foundation video on um, perfect foundations for a woman to cover color this one is the Medium Coverage Foundation by Mary Kay. And like I said, it's called Bronze 607. You can't see it because it's white. But it looks like this. It comes in a tube. And I absolutely love this foundation. I know you guys um, was telling me that I could find this on eBay. And I did. I found two of these for like $17. So I have been using them since I bought them. And I'm about to show you what it looks like right now. And that is the color. And this is medium coverage, but it, it comes on, if you layer it on, it is full coverage. But I absolutely love this foundation. And this is a nice foundation for a woman of my skin tone. But I absolutely love it. So one of these are like $15, and I bought two of them off of eBay for like, I think it was like 16 15 to $16. I'm not sure, but I purchased a lot of things from eBay. So I have been running to this foundation. Also, I have been running to this LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is the HD Pro Concealer, and I ordered these from Cherry Culture. I haven't um, uploaded that video yet, but I do have a video on a Cherry Culture haul, but I will do that probably sometime this week. And this one is in Toast. And I use this to define my eyebrows. And also as a concealer, I purchased like six different colors. So um, I really don't. This one is more of my skin tone. This one and I think the other one is called either cappuccino or chestnut. Something like that. But I have been run to this um, concealer. Also my Ben Nye Topaz Translucent Face Powder. I use this to set the concealer under my eyes. I do not use banana because I think this one is more essential than banana for a woman of color. We are dark. We cannot use banana. So after I tried Topaz, I have been running the Topaz instead of banana. So you guys need to try Topaz if you don't have it already. <clears throat> and next, I have been... Loving this elf daily moisturizing stick and I use it around my mouth as you guys know in the previous in my elf haul I told you that I have been using this and this works really really well I don't use it on my whole face. I just use it around my mouth because that's where I tend to get the driest and it is enriched Enriched with oxidants and anti-aging ingredients grape cocoa shea avocado macadamia macadamia aloe and chamomile and it looks like this and it twists up but it's not greasy or anything i put it on my lips and then i rub it in a little bit and then i go to sleep at night 
So this works really good for my eczema. It doesn't irritate it. It doesn't um, break my skin out. But I have been loving this e.l.f. Daily Moisturizing Stick. And for the lips. No, I'm still on the face. Okay, so I have been loving this Ben Nye Press Eyeshadow and Eggplant. And I use this to contour with. And I, it's so hard to find a contour powder for a woman of my complexion. I tried the Queen Latifah in Ebony Bronze. I tried the um, Sleep Dark Palette Contour Palette in Dark. And this works the best for me. It looks purple, but once you apply it, it is like a brown. So I have been loving this. This is $9.50, and this is eggplant, but this lasts a long time. I haven't even put a dent in it, and I use it all the time. So I really do love this to contour with. My favorite blushes for this month is, of course, Raisin by MAC. And it looks like this, and it's really not that dark. It's just a nice, light blush for a woman of my complexion, and I absolutely love it. That's Raisin. And I also have been wearing this NARS blush in Exhibit A. And this is the only NARS product that I have, but this is a bright, bright orange blush. You have to put this on very lightly so it won't look so, so bold and dramatic. So that is Exhibit A. And these are two beautiful blushes for a woman of a darker skin complexion. So, okay, now we're going on to the brushes. So, I have been loving this Sedona Lace Tulip Face Brush, and this is the FB03. I use this to either set the Topaz Powder under my eye, or to contour with on under my cheekbones, or on, under my chin, uh, well, under my jawbone, and around my temples. This is a nice brush to have, and if you guys missed a Black Friday sale, they had the whole kit for $29 or $39 so I hope you guys didn't miss out on that but I am loving this brush and I'm also loving this brush too this is the Sedona Lace EB15 and this is the smaller to tulip brush but this is a crease brush and I absolutely love it because it plays the color inside of your crease very well because the tip is very tapered and I absolutely love it. It blends the color out really well too. And this is like one of my favorite brushes. I use this brush every single day. I do not use these every day because when I go to work, I do not contour. Not at all. So, um, this brush right here. This is out of the Coastal Scents 22 brush roll. And I blend out my foundation with this brush. And it is like super soft soft is dual fiber and it's like a dome brush but it blends out the foundation just flawlessly i absolutely love this brush um i can't even say enough about this brush i'm not sure if they sell it separately on the website but you might as well just pay the um 34 for the whole brush roll and they always have a sales on them so when you can or when they have a sale, you guys need to pick up that Coastal Sense 22 brush roll because this brush is essential. Okay, so for the lips, I am looking for a nice, wonderful lip exfoliator that works. If you guys know of one, could you please leave it in the comment section and let me know. I know my sis Stallion 1920 was talking about one at Ulta, but I wasn't sure what the name of it was. So please, if you watch this video, Stallion, put it in the comments and let me know what it is. Because that Elf one, the exfoliator, oh my god, I don't know what that, it doesn't help my lips whatsoever. Um, because right now it is getting cold, so your lips are getting chapped. And you don't want to be walking around with some crunchy, crunchy, crusty lips. So, um, I have been wearing this right here. This is made by Ruby Kisses. And this is the Lip Revitalizer. And this I wear on an everyday basis. I put this on my lips to moisturize it, but it's not a foliator. It conditions, repairs, and prevents dry, chap lips. And um, it looks like this. As you can see, I use the heck out of this stuff. And you can kind of feel it working. 
but it still doesn't get the skins off of your crunchy lips so that is from ruby kisses and i think this was like 2.99 at the beauty supply okay so next for the lips i have been running to my elf glossy glosses i think i have every single last one of them except one but i absolutely love these things um they are three dollars regular price but you know elf is always having a sale especially on the studio line and these are from the studio line um so i purchased most of them for a dollar fifty but these things are the bomb i have it on top of this lipstick right here the lipstick is from mac and it's called taupe and i have on dragon fruit no not dragon fruit i have on berry blush on top of this mac lipstick but as you can see it is hella glossy i have been wearing this for at least an hour and it's still glossy and i absolutely love these things so it is worth the money i think these are like the best lip glosses that are around right now and then it has a brush and not an applicator so that's what i look for in a lip gloss is the brush because it seems like the applicator it doesn't um apply the gloss on your lips right to me it kind of so i don't know it just doesn't make the lip gloss pigmented enough you just have to keep reapplying it for the color to show up but i absolutely love these right here and the last two things are eye products and i have been using these two eyeshadows from nyx nyx wherever you want to call it and this one is blame it on midnight which is my highlight color i always use this in almost every tutorial it is a matte shade it's not shimmer and as you can see it, i hit pan on that but i got a couple of them over here brand new ones and i absolutely love them so i use this every day as my brow bone highlight even when I go to work because it's not too flashy. It's not all shimmery and shiny. And it doesn't look like I'm going out to the club. So this is Blame It On Midnight by NYX NYX. And also Dance The Tides. And this one is more of a skin tone eyeshadow. Which goes with my skin tone. So this is like a dupe for saddle. If you guys are looking for a dupe for saddle. This is what I use instead of saddle sometimes. This one is a little more red, but it, it's not extremely bold to where you could actually tell that it's a, a bright eye, brighter eyeshadow than saddle. But I absolutely love this eyeshadow right here. These are my essential eyeshadows that I go to every day. And Blame It On Midnight is absolutely gorgeous when you just place it on the lid with... Um, the dark brown from the vanity palette or the dark brown from the i love matte palette or drinking a glass of shine if you wear these two colors together it's just the perfect perfect neutral eye so those are my november favorites thank you guys for tuning in today until the next time i'll talk to you guys soon bye